Ladies and gentle ladies, obviously we have the new banners coming in right after Chaska's banner which ends in 3 days and 2 hours for the European region and go to our notices, we can take a look at the new banners that are going to be coming in. Obviously we've got Nouvellet as well as Zhongli making a rerun for the first time in a while actually. But here we go, the 4 stars, the 4 stars we're looking at Yao Yao official as well as Heizo. Now, this is definitely a banner that you probably either have many constellations on or no constellations at all. And I'm talking about the four stars here. Azo hasn't been on too many banners, so it's definitely a scenario where this is a character you might not have a lot of constellations on. And he has some pretty good ones. Official, you probably already have C6. If not, what are you doing? And then you got Yao Yao Yao. I think has been on multiple multiple banners but if I'm mistaken also an opportunity to get a pretty good dendro support here and a dendro healer now the same thing goes for this banner and then we've got the weapon banner the worst weapon banner I've seen in a while okay the four stars are okay you get a Favonis weapons for free um, the Mitter weapon the bow not that great and the dragon's vein is okay but now is outdated and then we've got the vortex vanquisher which is a terrible terrible weapon but nonetheless jongli's um uh, the quote unquote weapon it's not good he has so many better alternatives i hit the favonius lance is so much better and then you got the tome which is good for multiple characters and for nublet so this is the only good weapon i see on this banner right here of course the Favonis ones are good, I won't say they're not. The Sacrificial Fragment's also good, but it's just it's just missing something that's like, oh, you have to get. No, I think it's more of a bait banner. This entire, the, the, all the banners are bait, okay? They put Nivellet in here because they know that a lot of people want him, and that makes sense. He is an excellent character, self-sufficient, really strong, does a lot. Nivellet is one of those characters in the game that's like, hey, if you have him, you can pretty much clear everything and everything. Just, he just is, does so much. Just put some HP on him, roll some crit damage, and then you're pretty much good to go. And not to mention his artifact set gives him 36% crit rate for free. So yeah, there is that. He is not a constellation hungry character at all, though his C1 might be really nice to get some interruption resistance. And his talents are so... You just have to invest in his normal attack and you're pretty much good to go. He is an easy character to play. Clears everything. Self-sufficient. And that is why Genshin has put him in these banners for you guys to get baited. Because Mawika is right around the corner. Sitlali is right around the corner. And then you're going to be putting all your investment in Nivlet. And then you're going to... Oh, I'm going to have to purchase so I can get in Mavuika or whatever. Don't get baited, okay? Mavuika is going to be in it because she's an Archon. And this is definitely a banner where they want you to spend everything. If you don't have Nivellet, go for him. Get one constellation, get, or, or no constellation rather, like C0. Get one copy is what I mean. Get one Nivellet, get out. That's all you need to do. And then uh, leave. Don't come back. Don't don't come back. Don't go for constellations, okay? The four stars, they can come back. They're in the standard banner. You can get them. Don't worry too much, okay? A new banner is going to come out. Two new banners gonna come out, the Sitlali Mavuika. I recommend you guys stick around and get those instead of constellations for Nivellet. So yeah, there that, that's my two cents. That's what I think. Genshin wants you to kind of go all in on these banners, but I suggest that you guys, you know, take it easy, okay? This banner is just about to end, and then Nivellet's gonna come in and he's going to take your gems, okay? We don't have that many. We don't have that many, so be careful. And obviously, there is Zhongli. Zhongli is an excellent, excellent character. I still use him to this day. He's easy to build too. Just need some HP and you're good to go. The tree doesn't even matter. And then put all your um, talents into the elemental skill. And you'll be very, very good to go. He's an excellent character. I still use him. And yeah. I mean, generally, you don't really need much of a shield these days. Though he does more than just shield. It's just, he's a good character. Let's just say that. He is not a must pull by any means. But of course, it's Zhongli. He's just, he's just sick. Come on, he, he just looks cool. Now for the four stars, official, amazing. With constellations, even better. 
she is really really good and i do think that she is worth getting the constellations for but she is just everywhere you can get her so so easily so you don't have to worry too too much about getting more constellations for her and she's really easy to build so there's that hazel hazel is definitely more scarce of a character you don't see him that that often um he's really fun to play with he was like one of the first animal uh, punching guys characters right that's the whole shtick with him and i feel like that was very unique and i really enjoy how he plays yeah, i think if you guys want to go for constellations he's pretty good but it, it's not really necessary he's pretty good as is and he's definitely an awesome character to go for so yeah there is that and then there's yao 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 is also a pretty good dendro healer and an easy character to build too don't have to worry too too much she is definitely a good pick because there aren't too many dendro healers other than her and baiju so there's that and yeah i mean you can get constellations pretty easily and she was free at some point i'm not sure if she still is i think she might be i don't know but yeah definitely not a constellation hungry character but of course with constellations she does get a little bit better but but not by a significant amount where you have to go for constellations definitely good at c0 and yeah there's that so those were my two cents those were the characters on the banners and i think it is a good banner uh you could use all, multiple of those characters in one team and they'll be pretty good and you have a hyper bloom team but i'd say chill out relax and uh yeah just wait for the new banners to come out or at least show themselves right before you summon on these because it is a bait it is a bait banner trust me